Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2007 exam. It's for two marks. Statement is which input sequence for a cross coupled RS flip flop realized with two NAND gates may lead to oscillation. Okay. This is a RS flip flop made by cross coupling two NAND gates. Okay. It is different from the standard SR flip flop. The difference between this and the standard SR flip-flop is discussed in this video. I recommend you please watch this video first. Okay, its title is Gate 2004 Previous Year Question on Digital and the question begins from in a SR latch made by and so on. Okay, you just search this much, you'll get my video on YouTube or I'll just link it in the description. Okay, you please watch this video first. You'll understand more about the circuit. Then you come back here. I'm sure you'll understand this question better if you watch it first. Okay. Anyways, let's discuss this one. We need to find the condition when this circuit will start oscillating. Okay. Let us say R and S both are 0, 0. Now, if even one of the input of NAND gate is 0, its output is going to be 1. So, Q and Q bar both will be 1. You can see a variable and its complement is 1. This is not possible. That's the reason we declare this state as invalid state. Okay. Because Q and Q complement both will be 1. There's one more problem to this. See, this one will reach here and this one will reach here. Now, 0 NAND 1 is 1. 0 NAND 1 is 1. Circuit is stable here. But if I immediately make these inputs 1, 1. Now 1, 1 is applied here and 1, 1 is applied here. 1 NAND 1 is 0. That means this input will become 0 and this input will also become 0. Sorry, these outputs. But the thing is, both of the gates will have some difference in delays. Okay. Maybe one of them is faster. Even though the delay might be very small, but there will be a delay when we go to nanosecond scale or microsecond scale. Suppose this gate is a little bit faster. These inputs are sensed by this gate very quickly and it gives the appropriate output. Okay, so 1 and 1 becomes 0 immediately. This is a faster one. Okay, this 0 reaches here very quickly because this is just a wire. Okay, there's no gate in between. 0 and 1, sorry, 0 NAND 1 will again be 1 only. Okay. So this gate didn't even realize that for even a small moment of time, the input was 1, 1. This is a little bit slower. So this gate missed that input as 1, 1, even for small moment of time. Now the circuit is stable here. 0, 1 is the output. But what if this gate was the faster one? See, we were here. Now suppose this gate is a little bit slower. This is the faster one. In that case, output will be 1, 0. Okay. So if on state 0, 0, you decide to change the input to 1, 1. Okay. First they were 0, 0. Then you change the input to 1, 1. Now we cannot be sure what is the next output. That's the reason this state is called forbidden, uh, forbidden. And next output will be indeterminate. Okay. Normally, if you directly give 1, 1, it will be latch. Okay. Normally, it's latch. But if you first give 0, 0, then give 1, 1, then the state will be indeterminate in such a circuit. Okay. In this case only. Now, let me discuss what is indeterminate, what is difference between invalid and indeterminate. Most of the students think invalid and indeterminate are same. No, they are not. Invalid means Q and Q bar both are one. Such a scenario is not possible. But because it's happening here, so we declare this state to be invalid. Indeterminate means state cannot be determined. 
we don't know what the output will be okay in this case we don't know what the output will be it can be 0 1 or 1 0 okay it can be anything that is indeterminate and it sometimes so happens that oscillations start that means sometimes this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 this is 0 the circuit keeps on oscillating that is also indeterminate let us see are oscillations possible okay we were discussing that initially the values of r and s are 0 0 okay hence the output will be 1 1 these ones they reach here as the second input of the NAND gates okay one more point why are they saying r s flip flop r s flip flop why is it why it isn't a sr okay normally we say sr flip flop why are they saying rs why have i written r here and s here please watch this video for finding out the answer okay and i'm actually stopping myself from discussing these points because if i discuss this i'll be repeating this content only okay anyways now we will be changing this input to one as well as this input to one there are three possibilities first possibility is we get a zero here and a one here second possibility is we get a one here and a zero here third possibility is the circuit will go into oscillation state okay the input will keep on changing sorry output will keep on changing that's the reason they are saying may okay because we don't know what will happen maybe it is one zero maybe it is zero one maybe it is oscillation okay this is not sure that oscillation is bound to happen oscillations may happen that's the reason they have used the word may let's see how are oscillations possible here see suppose this gate reacts and it makes its output zero very quickly okay it made the output zero and immediately that zero reaches here but by that time one one is sensed by this nand gate it also makes the output zero so this output is made zero and during almost that time only this zero reaches here okay now see what will happen suppose this zero reaches here okay now this nand gate will react to this zero zero nand one is one this will be made one but already the previous zero has reached here suppose by that time this nand gate reacts to one zero it makes this uh, value equal to one okay because one and zero will be one now suppose that one reaches here one and one will be zero okay this gate will react to this input this input will be zero okay sorry this gate will react to this input and it will make the output equal to zero suppose as it was making this output equal to zero this one reached here so this one has propagated till this input by that time only this nand gate made it output equal to zero now this will react to one one and make it zero okay so this cycle will keep on repeating itself and we will say oscillations are happening okay this is a rare chance okay most of the time the circuit will stabilize at zero one or one zero okay because we are make, making a lot of suppositions here suppose by this time zero reaches and suppose this happens and so on okay so this is a rare chance but yeah there is a possibility we cannot completely neglect it so oscillations can happen in d part that means we apply 0 0 the next input applied is 0 1 okay so keep this thing in mind that such a circuit may oscillate and it may so happen that its input is sorry output is indeterminate okay